We're joined here by Forest View head coach Chris Medlin. Coach, uh, a year ago, 7-5, and five, a state uh, playoff loss in the opening round to Patton. A bunch of kids have graduated, newcomers coming on every year, new challenge. What's it look like so far early on? Well, I've been pleased so far the first few days. Of course, it's hard to get a real good idea yet, but um, it's a hard-working group. It's a young group, as you mentioned, and um, but some of the guys coming back in key positions, like Jake Lee at quarterback, got some experience last year when we had an injury, and um, you know we got some couple defensive backs that have been starters for us for a couple of years. So we do have some experience, but overall, like I said, we're young groups. So we we'll have to really wait till we get going and in scrimmages, and especially once we open non-conference to to, to get a good feel. Let's talk offense first. Uh, you have been known to tinker your offense based on the personnel that you had, which is a, a strong attribute as a coach. Uh, what are you going to be running this year, and who are some of your key returning players on offense? Well, you know, obviously you try to suit your, your system to the personnel you have um, for the most part. And we've had to adjust at times over the, over the past couple of years. You know, two or three years ago we had Logan Bradley at quarterback who threw for 38 touchdowns and had a 1,000-yard receiver and, and McKelty Armstrong. And then – of course, we at times ran the ball more. Mo Neal was here and had 2,000 yards rushing, I think, in 14. So, you know, last year we were primarily a run team. And um, it's just kind of as the season went on, that's what was dictated to us. And we'll see how it goes this year. I do want to throw the ball some. I think you got to be balanced to, to keep defense honest. But, um, you know, hopefully we can mix it up and be able to, to do both equally effective. Like I said, Jake Lee's coming back uh, at quarterback. He, I believe, started three games last year. Um, I expect big things out of him. Relatively new. Uh, Jake Long's back at one of the receivers, but really most of the other skill positions uh, will be guys moving up from the JV. So um, offensive line-wise, we're young. A lot of guys moving up as well or didn't were backups last year on varsity. So we'll see how it goes. But, again, I'm excited, and I think these guys are working hard. Defensively, that's been one of your keys. Uh, you've had good defensive teams throughout your years here. Uh, same scheme as uh, last year, and who are some of the key returners? It'll be pretty much the same scheme. Um, we have uh, Jacob Ash and coming back at linebacker. Um, Jackson Moore, he'll be back at linebacker as well. Uh, Avion Reed and Anthony Nance in the secondary. So we got a little more experience on the defensive side, but Again, basically those guys will, will be running the same thing we ran last year, basing a 3-4, and um, hopefully be able to be aggressive and fly around, create some turnovers and give our offense some short fields. And we got a tremendous kicking game. I mean, that's one thing I feel very comfortable in going into the season. Uh, Holt Kloniger is a ninth grader last year, did a tremendous job for us. And he'll handle the kickoff and the, the field goal PAT and um, punting duties for us. So I, I really feel good about that, and uh, that's key. I think that helps with your field position and help our offense out early on. You mentioned Kloniger. You feel a lot of high schools, ex, uh, extra points, field goals is an Achilles heel. He gives you a weapon uh, this year. Oh, absolutely. I think uh, not just that, but as punting as well. I believe he can change the field force and flip field position. Uh, I believe that, uh, you know, anytime we're in the 45-yard range in, field goal is definitely going to be an option we look at, uh, maybe even longer. You know, he's got the capability of hitting it 50-plus. So, um, you know, well, I feel really good about him and think he'll be a big weapon for us. Lots been made about the realignment in North Carolina, 2A, 3A. But the Big South has been one of the better conferences in the state, going to have Kings Mountain Crest in there. What are your thoughts on realignment this year? Well, you know, it goes back really to my first uh, – when I became head coach in 2007, um, we had a lot of those teams in the conference then. Of course, South Point was still a member. But, um, you know, it's going to be interesting. That's definitely – it's not going to be an easy road. I mean, Crest is traditionally a powerhouse. Kings Mountain's a great team. Um, you know, all those Cleveland County schools have great tradition. And Burns had a really good season last year. Uh, Kings Mountain went to the fourth round year before last. So, you know, it's going to be a tough road to hoe. And um, we'll just sit, we've got to play it week by week and game by game. Having known you the past few years, exactly how you approach it week by week, game by game. You just break down the film and go to work on a weekly basis. But as you look at the big picture for 2017 with all these young kids coming up, what's your realistic goals for this season? Well, we always, uh, our primary goal is to compete for a conference championship. Um, our last one was in 2014. And, um, you know, then after that, you, you try to position yourself in the playoffs with a good seed so you can hopefully make a run in the state playoffs. But overall, I mean, the goals aren't going to change. I just think it's key for this group early on to um, get some good experience uh, in, the, in the scrimmages and then be able to compete and 
um, our non-conference and hopefully get some wins and gain some confidence going into the conference season because, again, that's going to be a tough, tough conference and there's no easy game. So we're looking forward to it. It's going to be a big challenge, but, you know, we're excited to see where it leads us. Good luck to you, Coach. Thank you very much.